So it is time for our best bets presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Uh, I'm just going to go first. I'm taking the Falcons plus a six and a half. I alluded to it at the end of the uh, the gambling group chat. I know Kirk Cousins does not look. We talk about Aaron Rodgers off the top. It looked like looked like a 40 year old quarterback coming off of an injury, but at least he was fine. Kirk Cousins, like he had him lined up in shotgun, like he did not look fine, and that concerns me. <laughs> However, I think maybe you talk week one, week two. Maybe he gets the, the game starts coming a little bit more naturally to him again. You're able to get some of the offensive weapons involved against an Eagles defense, which struggled mightily. Uh, they turned the ball over, what, uh, three times. They allowed over yeah. seven yards of play. I think it is an opportunity for the Falcons offense to to score some points. And six and a half is a, is a, is a lot of points in what potentially could be a high-scoring game. So I thought over 47 might be okay as well. But I, uh, I, I think the Falcons plus the points is a uh, – a good look this week. So this is not a shot at how at, at, at you and your yes, and your and your physique here, but I think you move better than Cousins right now. Thank you. Like Cousins, just it, it it wasn't that the offense didn't feature a lot of things like play action pass or move the pockets. That he just didn't move there. He did not move, and I certainly can believe that week two we see the improvement as he feels more comfortable in the pocket. But if he's not moving, it makes him an easy target. And it also makes the offense tougher to run. Their outside zone running scheme, you sort of need to hold the backside player with the quarterback being able to bootleg and move the pocket a little bit. If they can't do that, they, you know, they, they can't run the ball either. But I think your point is valid about the Eagles, though. The Eagles, just something about the way they play is a little bit fishy right now. It's a lot of points. It's a lot of points yeah. um, for the Falcons, excuse me, for the Eagles to, to cover in this game. Good, good luck, buddy, betting on the Falcons. <laughs> I wish you the I wish you the best. You won your best bet. I did not, so I'm no fool right now. Let's get to, to my best bet here. We talked a little bit about this number. I'm taking the Broncos plus two and a half. We talked to John Murray about this earlier. It was at three. I still like it at two and a half because I think they win this game outright bare. But I'm not, again, I'm admitting I'm not getting the best of the number yep. here, but I still like them at two and a half here. Steelers are back on the road after winning week one with six field goals. Six field goals. Justin Fields, I believe, is rolling back as a starter this weekend. Russell Wilson, I don't think it's going to play. So it's, 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 it's what they talk about. I don't think they're going to score points in this game again on the road in Denver against a Denver defense that we know is good, right? Like, they're not going to throw the ball. Sertan's going to shut down Pickens. Like, mm-hmm. that's the end of the passing game. If you're one-dimensional, you're not going to score on the road. And I think we look at Bo Nix and what they did offensively against Seattle. Yes, his air yard attempts were, were, were short. I get that. There were some errant throws. But I thought overall, Bear... He looked like he belonged. He looked like he sort of belonged in the NFL. They're going to figure out an offense. And it's a low-scoring game. Give me the Broncos here. Lastly, lastly, Mike Tomlin as a underdog, is a great wager, is a road favorite, is an absolute terrible wager. They never cover these games, especially since he's had a basically new quarterback since, you know, since, since it's been retired. Give me the Broncos plus two and a half here, Bear. Yeah, no, I, I like that as well. And, and I'm glad John brought that up as well because that's – we talked about this a lot, how it sounds counterintuitive. Like you see two and a half, you want to lay two and a half because it's less than a field goal. Oftentimes taking the two and a half yes. is, is the correct way to go. I think, I think you're on the right side again. We, we were joking around on Sunday about like, look at the Steelers drive. They had like a, a, a 10 play 20 yard <laughs> field goal drive. Like this is not an offense that no. is, uh, that's built to do anything. I actually feel talking about the, the results, like with the Packers and the, and the Eagles, like feeling better about the Packers and we would the Eagles like, I still feel really good about my Steelers win total oh, under so do I. and Steelers like low scoring. Like, yes. like there was nothing about that game that made me believe like our read of the Steelers was, was incorrect. No. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.